Well, here's another bit of breaking news coming in and cutting right across to Jailalata's memorial, which has become a political pit stop uh, for the leaders. This time round, it is for Deepa Jayakumar's husband, Madhavan, who's reached uh, Jaya's memorial. He's garlanding and presenting his uh, floral tribute to Jaya's memorial because he's there to seek the blessings and the pictures also that he needs a photo op for Madhavan who's launching his new political party. Remember, his wife Deepa Jayakumar had uh, entered the political fight ahead of RK Nagar by poll, uh, throwing her hat in the ring as well. She had floated her own party claiming she is Jaya's true heir. All this while, you had Madhavan side by side Deepa and supporting her political ambitions but now he has political ambitions of his own. You have uh, Deepa Jayakumar's husband. This is a picture from earlier where he, you can see him looking at his wife, making a speech, addressing the reporters as well on why she's taken the political plunge. And now the tables have turned a split, which we have seen because he's not joining Deepa Jayakumar's party. He's chosen to go it solo and has now come out with his own political party. Starting with Jaya's memorial, seeking uh, her blessing, so to say, to float his own party, he'll start campaigning as well. And he's been Madhavan, a key player in formation of Deepa's political outfit. So he's going to use that experience to now have his own political party. He split ways uh, with uh, Deepa's political party following rumors with uh, a fight between the two. He made an announcement that he would form his own party, but uh, that time it wasn't a reality but now it's actually unrolling and that's where we see that how this entire controversy is rolling out to the new party being unveiled at the moment and a number of stakeholders to claim jaya's legacy have just gone up you have pani salvam camp you have parni sami camp they're both fighting and also trying to merge but here you had deepa jayakumar jaya's niece with a very uncanny similarity with her aunt uh, saying that i am the actual true heir without any political experience she stepped into the arena with her emotional claims and floated her own party claiming to have support of uh, people on the ground and now her backbone of the party madhavan has floated his own political outfit who's also her husband My colleague Akshita is joining us on the story. Akshita, take us through what's happening. How many supporters do Madhavan have? And it's a split up from Deepa's party. Any Deepa followers who are also joining her husband now? Well, I'm, I must say I'm rather surprised to Devina, the crowd that's gathered here for Madhavan, considering that he's a first-timer with no political experience. He has managed to draw quite a bit of a crowd. Uh, they seem to be more of AI agency party work as Kara, who's come together here to support Madhavan. You can hear slogans being placed in his favor as well. Uh, it's expected that possibly in the next half hour, he will be addressing a press meet where he'll announce the name of his party and uh, 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 you know, as far as questions with regards to why he chose to take this decision, why he's moving into political circles. He's expected to answer all those questions in uh, just in a while. But uh, what's interesting also is that he's decided to enter politics much like how his wife chose to as well by first coming to the Jaya Memorial, uh, taking a uh, yes. of death blessing and then going on to announce the name of his party and the like. Is he going to get some sort of support from another camp, from another faction? Exactly how does he plan on carrying this forward is a big question because as I pointed out earlier, he has no political experience. He has uh, no direct ties to Jalalita herself, unlike his wife, Deepa. So these are obviously questions that need to be raised because just a few months ago, there was someone who backed mm. Deepa to the nail. What changed along the way? Why has he now chosen to start his own political yes, party? Yes. So of course, he will have answers for all of that, but it comes down to one root question about how successful he will be as a political leader. As of now, he seems to have managed to draw uh, quite a bit of crowd. Of course, nothing compared to the likes uh, of Deepa Jayakumar herself. But, well, well, uh, actually, that's interesting because when he's paying the floral tribute and that's one shot which speaks a million words he looks at the camera he eyes the camera and he knows the presence of media around him as well but actually what happens now to Deepa Jayakumar what's the road ahead for Deepa's political future you know, interestingly, I want to tell you also, you know, what's happening right now is uh, all the party workers are standing there around Jail Alita's memorial, raising their hand up, seem to be taking a vow of sorts to be protecting her legacy and to take care of the state of Tamil Nadu. So that's a very interesting visual that we're getting here as well. All of them have surrounded okay. uh, the Samadhi here and extended their hand, taking a vow really uh, to carry forward her legacy. So okay. Once again, all right, Akshita.